Right, so I've just done my first, um, I don't know, almost proper barefoot run. Wearing nothing but some Soxies, some seal skins with my hiking trousers tucked into my socks. And I've got another pair of socks underneath, uh, a pair of like some merino, like so the breathable <coughs> hiking socks. So two pairs of decently thick socks, and um, these are waterproof and breathable. Um, and yeah, they're, they're, they're cool. I, uh, I I just went jogging in, um, did my 6k loop, Bardills and whatever Bramcut Lane uh, tram line, and yeah, it was it was kind of painful going on the um, <clears throat> up Bardills Hill. It's just basically just a path that's it's got loose rock everywhere, and you're constantly every other footstep, every step you're on rock, every other footstep you're gone something kind of ugh, and just constantly jogging on that. And it made me realize <clears throat> that when I have tried jogging more flat footed or with a ball on my foot hitting the ground first, it's been quite difficult, but it's actually much easier um, with, what do you call it? Running like this, which I don't know why actually, because surely it should be easier with normal shoes because you've got more padding on the heel. Oh, that's why, because you're already slight slanted forward a bit so it's even you have to stand your foot even more if you want the front front of the shoe to hit first. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> I was running and it was awesome because it was actually really quite fun. I just quite enjoyed it um, because it really changed the way in which I ran. And um, by that, I mean like physically, not f like physically myself, but the actual route I took. So instead of um, just running on the, the road or the, the the tarmac when there was tarmac. I'd aim to run on the the muddy the muddy strip of the side of the road when there was some, because uh, it was actually really quite pleasurable running on uh, mud. And it was quite fun just jumping in decently deep puddles, and feeling the water, you know, feeling the splash, but then feeling no wetness on my foot. Um, so it was actually really quite fun. Um, a bit of like uh, when I started the run. Um, I was at the traffic lights and two people were opposite me and I was jogging on the spot just in socks and they, they might have thought like Is he okay? Does he need some money? Should I give him a quid to buy some, you know, put toward his uh, Christmas shoes? Um, but yeah, it was good. Today I've done like bugger all. I transcribed one day of my written journal from Wales. I um, It's an hour or so of reading of the answer, <clears throat> which is really quite... I don't know, it's like the most woo-woo th stuff that's probably possible um, that, you know, is actually uh, what I'd call potentially legitimate. It's like everything is frequencies and waves. And I, I, I won't try to... But the, the basic principle, I guess, to go into it briefly, is that everything is wavelengths and we are, um, we are certain our being, our consciousness is a certain part of, is just a certain point of consciousness, which is just infinite, it's all possibility, you know, that's what he calls the whole, the, 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 the greater field, everything is con consciousness, and consciousness is what we are, point in consciousness, and through our senses we have built this world, and it's not actually, you know, this isn't a ring, Fundamentally, it's just wavelengths, just frequencies, and um, I perceive it as a 3D object, but it's actually a 2D object, a, a collection of information, aka frequencies, wavelengths, 2D, but it's a hologram, essentially, that's what it calls it, it's a hologram. Everything we see in reality is holographic in the sense that it's a 3D picture built up by us um, through decoding 2D information and that 2D information is contained in these wavelengths everything is wavelengths and the reason it's possibly true let's say the reason it's plausible is because it ties into quantum theory quantum mechanics you know uh, quantum gravity or yeah you know string theory and quantum gravity and it all ties into this in the sense that 
you know, light is both a particle and a wave. And, you know, on the smallest, smallest scale, you've got, uh, on, the, on a very small scale, you've got atoms, which is what everything is built up of. And uh, atoms are like 98% empty space. So when we perceive something as solid, it's just a hologram. It's just see, decoding it as solid. Because on the microscopic level, on the electronic electron microscopic level level electron microscopic level it's uh, these tiny particles are just vibrating so it's just vibrations which is not solid um anyway that's that it's really interesting honestly it's quite thought-provoking um i had an interesting conversation with my dad today where he was just sat in the lounge and he came around to try to fix the washing machine the uh, dishwasher and um we were just conversing about whatever and then he just changed topic digress digressed and said like uh i know you've i know you've uh i know you've told me not you know not to ask you again or i've know you i know you've given me your point a couple of times but why aren't you getting the vaccine or is they like well what have you got against getting the vaccine and i went oh and he went oh no 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 i know you you know you you you, you think you know you say you're a you know or he said you are for an intelligent guy it just doesn't make sense to me to just say no to the vaccine you had polio the polio vaccine and the tb vaccine and all these other vaccines when you're a kid and this isn't any different you know it seems very uh, uh it's, it's something like it seems very um it's com it says it's completely closed-minded um from someone who's you know takes himself to be open-minded that you're not getting the vaccine very closed-minded and says in fact it's stupid it just doesn't make sense it's stupid that you're not going to get the vaccine especially because you want to travel and I just got bombarded with that and I, I was just I, I, I like got prepared to like give a rebuttal just give my stance and then because of the way in which he just splurged that on me weird way to describe something your dad does to you I just pick my book up and just says dad I'm I'm not I, I'm that is ridiculous I'm not I'm not answering that I'm not and he's like no 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 come on come on blah, 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 blah. I was just like right okay but don't interrupt me and just let me give you my piece and take take with it take um take it away with you whatever you think and I gave him my spiel um about how you know it's not localized mRNA technology is different than vaccine technology of the past and how uh, we had like the biggest day of COVID cases t yesterday, uh, even though like 90% of everyone in the UK is currently vaccinated, um, with at least one dose and how, uh, we just don't have the long-term knowledge for the side effects and everything. And, um, and some, uh, whatever else I said, and he just made a joke about it. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I was like, Dad, did you listen to anything I said? He says, yeah, I listened to every word of it, but, you know. <laughs> and I just laughed along because it was something he said was funny. And I, I just uh, I just thought, you know, I don't know. He just says, someone, he says, for someone who's supposed to be open-minded, that's a very closed-minded thing to do. You know, it's actually just stupid just to say no. I was just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like the... The, the like the hypocrisy I guess just like the stupidity in what he's saying as if he's done research into it and everything and he's oh yeah and he said like uh you know I've seen kids on TV who have had the had COVID before they had the vaccine and they said you know I just wish I got the vaccine sooner you know what I mean you don't want to be end up like those kids who nearly die from it I was just like okay um so there's that not really had a productive day played a couple of games of league with jacob uh did some reading um did some journaling bought some new uh well second hand barefoot shoes again because i'm going to send these ones i've got i've got now back just swapping for basically the same pair um so i've had like five pairs in total of barefoot shoes but i'm just going to keep and i've had four pairs i think this will be um but i'm going to keep two of them obviously uh yeah this, this will be four pairs um just two of them too small so hopefully these fit me perfectly size up and um sold my stone island turtleneck jumper for double the price i bought it for nearly oh no no i got it for yeah sold it for double the price and then take off ebay fees and i lose a bit of nearly double making nearly 100 percent profit um 
yeah, not really a lot else to add. I had a beautiful, beautiful phone call with Indigo the day before last, I think it was. Yeah, it was. Um, that was just a gorgeous, just such a beautiful phone call. I've got um, these little canvas, these canvas uh, photos of me, George and Rowan. Um, which I'll have to I'll have to show on here. It's just such a beautiful photo, it really is. And I've got them each. That I've made into a little like food um, hamper thing for Christmas. I'm gonna send that tomorrow. Seeing Elliot hopefully on the 22nd, so just under a week away. Um, next Wednesday, I believe. I hope it'll be really nice to see him. Hopefully George is uh, gonna come over and see me before Christmas. That'll be lovely. Um, it'd be really nice if Elliot could meet George. I'd really, really like that. Um, just have a few beers, and I was thinking I'd, I'd have no anxiety about, you know, putting two and putting them together, um, seeing how they click, because I, I just know they will. Um, and if they don't, then I, hopefully I won't see that as a reflection on myself. In terms of like, I, I don't know. In terms of like um, George being like, oh Luke, this is your best mate, like. Plot, what a fucking re <laughs> a spack <laughs> a spanner. Um hopefully <laughs> you know what I mean. Um but yeah, hopefully that gave you a little giggle elbow. Um Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Well I'm not because I don't look forward to anything because I'm a boring shit, but thinking about it, that'll be lovely. Um tomorrow hopefully seeing Jacob. Um with that finally. Finally seeing Jacob. <laughs> Ooh, maybe. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. Um, yeah, just trying to fucking trying to almost bide my time. Like days almost feel wasted, but the knocks. I'm jogging and doing a tiny bit of cooking sometimes, and reading and doing some meditation um, and trying doing journaling. But I don't feel like I'm building toward this. Uh, big thing you know I was writing today I was transcribing my day six journal day six journal entry from being in Wales and I was like I feel like I've been doing to use an, an analogy from this youtuber called healthy gamer gg it was like oh, I'm, I feel I'm doing side quests and I'm not on the main quest and now I feel like you know back then I put like I feel my main quest is um, doing this online course thing because that will give me hopefully it's, it's a possibility of earning an income for doing all my traveling which feels like is a thing i want to do most in life presently um so still now i feel like meditation jogging yeah working at you know living in a commune yeah but i still feel it's all like side quest stuff and i don't know how true that is i don't know how much i feel that now like with this i don't know a bit more of a i don't know a more I don't know what the word is, not holistic, not spiritual, just a bit more of a self-accepting maybe mindset or view of myself. I'm a bit, just thinking about it in the moment, I feel I'm a bit more like, no, this is all main quest stuff. This is all my mission. This is all, you know, me growing and me becoming who I am Ooh, or whatever, you know. It just feels like I'm just making small steps in these different areas to help me I don't fucking know, enjoy life and um, that's what's really hippy dippy, you know, access higher planes of consciousness, vibrate at higher frequencies. Yes, yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm doing, you see. Yes, yes. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, socks, waterproof. It's fucking good, man. It, it's, it's the future. Waterproof socks, future.